Thanks for taking the time, sir. I want to be completely honest with you today, so I'm going to start by saying that I know you don't like me. Maybe even hate me. I wish it weren't the case, but we'll both have to deal with it. I've come to ask you an, an important question. I know the very idea of it will repulse you. I know you wish your daughter didn't have this sickness, and I know you despise me for letting her indulge in it. I think you might even blame me for affecting her in the first place. I want to offer you a new way of looking at this. If being a lesbian is a sickness, then Shona and I both have chronic cases of it. We are incurable. Believe me, I've tried everything. You might not know this, but I've had five boyfriends before I was with another girl. I was head over heels in love with one of them, but something was not quite right. And no matter how hard I tried, something inside me resisted committing to him or any of them. My disease went further than destroying my dreams of heterosexual happiness. It turned me towards other women, made me a lesbian, a dyke, a queer. I tried to fight the sickness, sir, but I lost. Like you, I have a deep respect for tradition. We have to respect the wisdom of the many generations that have come before us. Their ways have meaning. Hence, I have come to you today following one of the most beautiful traditions known to mankind. To ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I promise you, sir, I will love and respect and nurture her throughout our lives to navigate our sickness together until the Lord takes us into heaven. I'm sorry for the pain this must be causing you, but I hope you will say yes, despite your misgivings, because you know that I love her and that I will always care for her. Sir, may I please marry your daughter?